everybody, welcome to Game Face. I'm Max. I'm Lindsay. And we're going to be talking about the Super Mario movie today while playing my first ever and one of favoritest ever of the video game is do Mario 3. This game holds a very special place in my heart. It's and like mine. the thing that got me into gaming. I remember being very young and my brother had a copy of it and I would play it all the freaking time. And he'd be like, get get off my console, because it was like that kind of... <laughs> oh, that kind of brother. Oh, shit. At the time, oh, at least. Shit. It was very like, these things are mine, and I would usually steal them because I wanted them. Mm -hmm. It was definitely an ongoing thing in our household. I remember like sneaking into ah, his room and taking like Turtles in Time and Donkey Kong Country, because he had all the good games, and I wanted to play them sometimes. But yeah, this was like my, you know, the gateway to gaming for me, and still holds a very special place in my heart. Mario holds a... Super special place in my heart. I would say I'm a pretty humongous I mean, Mario fan. Mario's been in our lives for a long time. Yeah. So surprise, surprise, I liked the Mario movie. Yeah, it was fun. It was fun. It um the big thing for me was compared to the old Mario movie, the live action one that sucks. It felt like it was made by people who liked Mario. I'm yeah. Luigi. Oh, I thought I was Blake. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, you you always said that you didn't like being Luigi when you were a kid. I don't know why. I just was like, I don't want to be the green one. <laughs> I liked being the green one because it was like a novelty. It meant that somebody was over. And I was like, I no, was I want to be the main one. character, not the big greenie. <laughs> but yeah, the, the old movie. I remember being excited for it when I was a kid mm -hmm. because I was like, oh, cool, a Mario movie's coming out. This is gonna be awesome. And then I watched it, and I think I blanked it out from my memory because of how bad it I was. don't think I ever knew or saw it. No, I remember being excited for it, and then I just have a gap in my memory of, like, the actual impression of the movie. <laughs> you just, like, discarded me there from blocking yeah. it out. Because we watched it a few years back during, like, a bad movie That's the first night. time I saw it, and, and I was it like, this is, me mad. this is pretty... I mean, I don't know, it's weird. We were yelling at the TV a lot. I think that movie didn't make me as upset as you guys. I was mad. But Sh like, should I get the flute? I think I just I care about Mario too much, and it was obviously made by people who, you know, it's one of those like Hollywood movies where they got the rights to Mario, mm. but they didn't really know what they were doing with it. Whereas the Illumination movie, it d does kind of feel like a love letter to Mario as a whole. I'd say it was lots of references, lots of like fun little bits. It kind of felt true to what I would think a Mario movie. It didn't feel world too would be. shallow. It kind of like, did, though. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess, like, it at least had some like, love into it. Yeah, oh, come I, on! Because I do have some problems with it. I don't think it's a cinematic masterpiece oh, absolutely. or anything. <laughs> absolutely. It was it just was a fun a movie. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> it was a fun movie, but it was fairly, it was fairly simple. But yeah. I don't know. There were no fart jokes, which I expected. That was huge. That was huge. <laughs> I was huge. like, there's going to be a fart joke. Because when we first heard about people. the movie coming out, we were like, it's being made by Illumination. I was just like, my hopes are not high. <laughs> But then when we get the first look at it, like just, I think it was that picture they showed where it was like Mario from the back and you like saw the Mushroom Kingdom. I was like, mm. this actually could be good. It was like, it was a very visually impressive. It, it seemed like they were having a lot of fun with it. It was neat. It was. And Chris Pratt wasn't that bad. Yes. Not I, great, but I mean, it was inoffensive. I just, I remember when they showed all of the people that were in the movie and everybody was flipping out about Chris Pratt. And I was just like, I don't even I still thought it was kind of strange. But I mean, I, it's it's an illumination is, it was... move. I feel like that's what people were like. It's just yeah. like, oh, an illumination Mario movie. They're probably gonna get Chris Pratt to play Mario. <laughs> and lo and behold, they did. Yeah. But it's just like everybody was like, when the first, when they were first showing the movie off, everyone was just like, oh my god, Chris Pratt is terrible. It, like, I mean, it, it seems wasn't serviceable great. to me. It's it's fine. He's no Bowser. Like Jack Black as Bowser killed it. I mean, obviously. yeah, he was obviously the best. Like. Actually, Best actor Seth there, Rogen I think. Did a pretty good job as Donkey Kong, even though he was just Seth Rogen. Seth Donkey Rogen Kong. was Seth Rogen, like, that's for sure. But I think his role in the movie was maybe one of the better ones to me. Okay. I'm gonna flute it up here. <laughs> yeah, sure. I don't know. I, I thought he did. I thought he did a good job. You gonna flute I, it? I had no problem with Seth Kong. I Seth thought Kong? he was all right. I like Chunky Kong. I mean, yeah, he was there. He was there. I saw him. I was like, hello. Also, I guess we know that there's going to be spoilers in this talking. Yeah, we're, we are talking about a kind of like, I guess, not in-depth because we're not film critics. I'm the kind of guy who goes to a movie and says that was fun and then yeah. realizes that everyone hates it. I'm not good at like picking apart films yeah. and being like, well, this shot was kind of weird because of this and that right. and that. And I was like, no, I just, did I have fun? Did I not have fun? Yeah. Fucking, I'm using the wrong buttons. I will say, even that said, watching the Mario movie... There were points when I was kind of taken out of it, just being like, that was kind of weird. Mostly pacing. The songs. 
the, the songs as well. The, the like the 80 songs that they added. Song. There's one too many, I think. I think there's like, there's, they're all too many. I don't know, when they first started off and it was like, they were in Brooklyn doing the Brooklyn shit. It's like, no, sleep in Brooklyn. I was like, yeah, sure, I get it. They're going to do this a few times. And then, what other ones were there? There was, I need a hero for like the montage. Yeah, it was like, it's that like... was very typical. And there was one part. Whee! Where, like, they go into Donkey Kong World, and there was just some Kong that I think they made up for the movie that had sunglasses, and they... Sunglasses Kong. Them, sunglasses Kong carts them around <laughs> to take on me Kong? for that some reason. Cool. I have no idea why it wasn't I mean, that's Kong. just a nitpick. But yeah, the take on me felt really out of place to me, and apparently it was. Yeah, a lot of people seem to say that, too, didn't they? Yeah, because they actually had made, and I listened to it, like, somebody matched the music they were actually supposed to use in the movie, which was just, like, some kind of mashup of, like, the Donkey Kong theme, and... And a different Donkey Kong theme. Oh, that and sounds yeah, cool. Yeah, I can show it to you. It's somebody like matched it up to what it would have been. Like, oh, this is way better. So is it like kind of like Take there was one part in the movie really where they they like Mario? I think it was like when Mario and DK were like kicking ass and shit, and um, they like mashed together a couple like Mario songs. Right, it was kind of like that exactly. Yeah, but I thought was, that would part. I was like, oh, I like this. More I of recognize that. these songs. Yeah, more of that would have been nice. I would have been. Way into more like mashups made for the big screen, because that was some of the highlights to me. Was like the musical, little tunes and stuff. Yeah, I was like, I know this song. Whereas when they played Hi. "Take on Me," it's like this doesn't really fit. It kind of feels like they slapped it in at the last minute, which which they apparently did. So that was I don't know. That part was kind of weird. And just the whole um, I guess the other negative I would have is just. It felt very rushed. Start to finish, everything was moving very fast. Everyone yeah. was just kind of like... He like got to the princess, gets to a fucking princess. He's <laughs> like, I need to find my brother. And she's like, okay. <laughs> and like even before that, like the move, it opens in Brooklyn. And it's like, this is cool. I I'm glad that they started in Brooklyn. The stuff with Mario and Luigi was very fun. Like them being plumbers and doing the Super Mario show cartoon that they did. Mm. The ad. And, like their family. That was neat. Yeah. And then very quickly and swiftly, you're swept into the Mushroom Kingdom for no reason, which is fine because mm -hmm. it's like the Mushroom Kingdom is a weird concept. Go underneath Brooklyn. There's a pipe. You go in there and then you're in the Mushroom Kingdom. Sure. But when Mario got there, he just like he had like a second to be like, where, hey, where, where the hell am I? And then Toad comes out. And he's like, we got to go to the princess. It's like, why? And who are you? <laughs> For one, I feel like there could have been a little more of like Mario running around, maybe just getting like whomped by enemies and stuff before maybe, I don't know, Toad saved him or he saved Toad or yeah, something. Toad, and they're like, we're Toad, friends Toad, now. Toad really didn't do much. No, Toad was a low point for me. All he, in all. He felt like the joke was Toad is there too. But, like, the joke <laughs> wasn't obvious enough. Which is kind enough. of Toad in general. He's yeah. like, I'm here. It's like, I'm yeah. here. I'm coming with you guys because we're best friends. It's like, I just met you, dude. And it's like, that's kind of funny. But I, I don't think they leaned into it enough, so it just kind of felt unearned. I was excited to see, like, the little, like, beetle. <laughs> like, some of the enemies. It's just like, oh, wow, they actually use that enemy. Like, the little beetle-y things from, yeah. they from Mario Land I, or Super 3D Mario Land. Whatever. Yeah, like okay. those ones. Yeah, And, like, the big, like, walkie thing. That was one of my favorites was face. when the big funky walkie thing goes over Mario and just looks him in the eye. He's like, hello. I would have liked to see a little more of that before they got to the Toad Princess Peach stuff. Mm -hmm. More just running around being confused by Mushroom Kingdom stuff. I was like, stuff. wow, you didn't do just use, like, Goombas and shit. This isn't yeah. Paper Mario. <laughs> That's the thing, too. Like, a lot of the enemies felt like what you would want in a new Paper Mario game. Like, there was the blue shell guy. That was, like, a character they made up. He was Yeah, I cool. guess it wasn't really a blue... There's no real blue shell guy like that, at least. No. A blue shell para... He was, like, a blue shell knight, basically. Para... Paratrooper. Koopa. Paratrooper. Trooper. Paratrooper. <laughs> Something like that. Would you like a pee? Yes. I also heard people talk about that it seems like maybe the blue shell guy had a bigger role and some of it was cut. Because it seems like he already hated Mario, like, when they first met in the Mario Kart section, but they had, like, no past interactions, so it's kind of weird. <laughs> That's fair. Luigi's a nice green in this. He's like, a nice very green. Very bright. That's why I like Mario 3 over um, All Stars a lot. I just think that the simple palette works really well. I mean, yeah, I like, nostalgia, the, I like the style in this one. He's good. Not that... The All Stars one is bad. I just would to prefer to. Okay. <laughs> I don't like it. Max is just set in his little ways. I don't know. Three's too special to me. World, the the Mario All Stars felt 
like change for the sake of change to me in a lot of ways. Bowser was good in the movie, huh? Bowser was great. That <laughs> was really good. Jack Black good Bowser was I didn't, uh, definitely a highlight. I don't think they ever... I don't think they showed it in any of the trailers how, like... They were just showing him, like, fierce in the trailers, right? Yeah, I and do then, not. And then, <laughs> <laughs> and then it's like... Oh, he likes. Yeah, we got goofy. We got goofy Paper Mario. <laughs> yeah, Bowser. we got. We did. We got like because that was great. It gave me very Paper Mario Bowser feels, where it's just like, yeah, he can be menacing, but also he really likes Peach and is a big yeah. doofus. I like the first reveal of his goofy side, where he gets the power star and is like talking to his army. He's like, "We're gonna rush in there. and We're gonna take over the kingdom." And everyone's like, "Yeah!" And he's like, "And I'm gonna ask the princess to marry me." And they're just like, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> it's like, "Yeah, obviously, he's hot, right?" Mm, no. Oh, this is me. Yeah, that's you. The, you're the red one. I keep pressing like weird buttons because I'm expecting it to be the NES controller, but this is I'm oh, yeah, playing on the uh, SNES. Yeah, I don't know if we mentioned we're, we're playing the NES Classic. I have this short little dinky NES cord that I forgot. Why did they the make NES it so Classic short? came with and Lin's on the Super Nintendo controller because yeah, why the hell not? I guess we had another one, but. Uh... It's like a knockoff one and it clicks too much. Because we were gonna just record our next Mario RPG session and talk about the Mario movie, but I felt like it would be weird to just go into part 18 of Mario RPG and be like, hey, we're talking about the movie. If you saw it or not, spoilers, skip yeah. this part. That would be kind of like, dirty. Miss some of the You're like, game. Well, let's just play Mario 3 and talk about the Mario movie for like a one off. Because mm -hmm. like this is one of my favorite games. We never get to play it on the channel because obviously nobody. We played it once. Was it on our channel? Yeah, when we when we raced, you raced Ian. I did. And if spoilers, spoilers, I'm not telling you what happened because go watch it. But it was fun, and you were both very angry because neither mm -hmm. of you have ever beaten it before, and you played it in one session. And I kept saying we should split this into two sessions because you guys are tired <laughs> and angry, angry, and you really should shut the fuck up. Next. <laughs> and I said okay. We did. It was a good watch. Go I watch need to rewatch that ah! one again. It was a good um, one. Is this gonna go the wrong way? No, I didn't. It was exciting though because I. I, I've played so many games as a child and like most of them didn't Oops. beat <laughs> and like, yeah. I finally beat this one Which was exciting It was exciting. Wasn't yeah, it? I've never beaten one. I've never although I didn't own two so that makes sense right. But I never beat one and I still haven't beaten one. Oh, I beat this one finally <laughs> After many, 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 many years. Moons. Yeah, now we gotta get you through World. And then I beat... You beat Yoshi's Island. I beat Island Mario 64. On, on episode. Which I never beat. Yeah? 100%. I beat that uh, when they brought out the All-Stars. Uh, 100%. And then I had beaten Super Mario Sunshine, but... Um... But I beat it 100% when All-Stars came out, and then same with... I certainly have never done that with Sunshine. Same with the, um... Galaxy. Super Galaxy Galaxy! Did you have a favorite part of the movie? Uh... Cock. Cock uh, the part where Mario <laughs> takes out his cock is know, really good. Ba Bowser and Luigi. Anything with them was fun. Oh yeah, fun. Luigi was really good. That's true. Um, and the Luma was funny. <laughs> yes, the Luma was funny. I would say Luigi was a little underused. He was, but I mean, he's the, he's the damsel. I guess so. I hope if they make a sequel, we get more <laughs> Luigi. Because Luigi was a highlight for me too. I also thought Peach was pretty good. I liked Peach. Her yeah, role was good. Fine. She was like, n no spotlight stealing or anything, I but the, her scenes were good. I like the DK rap was in there. Even didn't, get Grant Grant didn't get credited. Didn't get credited for it, which is sad. Oh god, we're getting close to the angry But sun. I appreciated it, and I was like, I know who did that. <laughs> it's true. I know who did this good song that I used to sing to my parents, and they're like, you're weird. <laughs> <laughs> Chunky Kong is dead. I remember when I, I got it for oh. Christmas, and I, I played it on the TV in the living room. So my oh, yeah, parents had to endure it. <laughs> I was gonna say you played Mumbo. Ah, oh, I hate it. Oh, we did play Mario. I want to play DK sixty four. I could play DK sixty four when flaws. the Donkey Kong co movie comes out. I'd be well. I don't, yeah, not big on Seth Rogen, but I don't know. I thought he did a good enough job. It was fine, yeah. Like it, it worked. It did. It didn't feel out of place. None of the characters' voices felt out of place. Like the casting actually felt good. To I me. didn't. That was one of my Cranky big Kong. Highlights. I wasn't. Oh, big I on. forgot about Cranky Kong. Yeah. <laughs> I personally, I I think some people were just were fine with him, but I, I think I'm too used to the way he sounds in the Donkey Kong Country TV show, and it was what just. What the fuck was that? I don't know. Did you see that? That's bullshit. Yeah, the hitbox was weird on oh. that. But yeah, it just it felt too much of a departure from old Cranky man. I don't know, it just, I don't know, for some reason, but I think that's just a personal thing, I don't think, I don't it, think it, that's it, really it an issue. It for me, it was, it was the, the only voice that I found a little distracting. Yeah, I was just like, whoa, I just, I don't know, it just didn't fit in my brain, but that's yeah. just a me thing. 
and maybe you think too. And maybe other people. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think. I mean, that's just yeah. You know. Right. But everyone else, I thought that Luigi was good. Luigi His was very voice good. Voice actor was good. And I mean, Chris Pratt did a good job. I think. He did. A, yeah, I think the, it's fine. The um, it's inoffensive. The early showings of Chris Pratt it, were did not him great. dirty. <laughs> yeah, they sure did. Uh, Maybe he did that on purpose. Maybe. <laughs> it's just like I'll show you. Uh, I'll do a all right job. Why would Why would you want to get people pissed off about your voice? <laughs> He's a troll. I'm gonna die here. Watch. You're gonna die. Yeah. Maybe I can oh, kill him. You proved me wrong. Get him. What? Oh, he doesn't die. He does so. He's supposed to. <laughs> Apparently, he doesn't. Oh, okay. Apparently he's over it. You gotta fucking... What the hell? I thought he died! Oh, he touched you with his little spike. Oh, maybe you need to have star. I don't know. Mm. Somebody tell me why that didn't work. I thought you could shell the sun. I was thinking something and then Were I forgot. Ya? What were the other licensed tracks that I missed? I know there was more than No Street in Brooklyn, I Need a Hero, uh, and The one that ACDC on that's overplayed. Oh, right, Thunderstruck. That was the one that when it played, I was like... I was like, what is this, a Marvel really, movie? <laughs> we're really playing Thunderstruck right now. <laughs> Yeah, the the like poppy Cock. the poppy songs <laughs> kind of took me out of it. I agree. They just, <laughs> it just felt so like typical elimination compared to everything else to me. Mm -hmm. That I was just like <sighs> I'm, I'm out something. of the Mario universe and I'm back into the Illumination universe. I keep thinking something I want to talk about about it, but I can't remember. <laughs> I remember something I wanted to talk about what? about it. When I first heard Mario movie, uh. I pictured all of like the board games that they come out with that have like the stock PNG images of like Mario that you know they they don't yeah go off of the, I'm the model they at all didn't go by that type of style which that's I mean that's what I'm saying yeah in movement it'd probably be fine but it, they are like him. they love using those like very stock footage pictures yeah. of Mario and Bowser and shit basically just a long way of saying uh oh, oh. oh. <laughs> that long way of saying uh oh I'm surprised they let illumination kind of illumination up the character designs I think that was really cool yeah. Just being able to see a different take on the Mario characters, mm -hmm. you don't see that very often because they're so... Nintendo's so protective of the Mario IP that I was surprised we got like a Jack Black Bowser and... Yeah, he's very, uh, very expressive look. Bowser. And they did a good job, like it's not too distracting from the yeah. original design. Peach has like got huge eyes and stuff, but that's just Peach. I actually like the way she looks. Yeah? When I first saw her with no movement, I was like, I don't <laughs> like Peach. But moving around, I'm into it. She looks good. She's got them big blue eyes. She's got them big blue eyes. I'm hopeful for a sequel. I could see them doing a sequel because it made a lot of money. It sure did. <laughs> yeah, it, just, people, it did very well. People like it. People are talking about like we're going to get like the Nintendo Cinematic Universe now, and I don't know about that. I think that's a little far, especially if they want to like... I saw somebody being like, oh, they should connect them all. I was like, no, you really don't mm, need to do that. I think stick to the Mario universe for now, at least. Yeah, it's like you don't really need to, like, make a Marvel Cinematic Universe. Just, like, make yeah. separate films. I'm fine with that. But no, like, we could get, like, maybe some DK action. What? Maybe get, like, some Mario or Wario and Waluigi being <laughs> the villains and the second one would be really cool. I'd Although you said um, bigger spoilers, I guess, here. Oh, um, but the ending of the movie, they showed a Yoshi egg, which maybe we'll get like a Yoshi's Island Baby Bowser scenario. I thought that would That'd be, be kind of fun. I was, I definitely noticed the very lack of any Wario and Waluigi in the movie, which makes me think they're saving them. That'd be fun. Because they would work perfectly. I would love for, for like an animated Charles movie. Charles Martinet to be a, to be Wario, but I doubt oh. that would be the case. Speaking of Charles Martinet, that's what I wanted to talk about. I was very happy with the way that they used him in the yeah. movie. It was like, great. He got two characters. He did, and I didn't know that for sure until you confirmed it but it was at the at the end that i realized that he was yeah. the dad because i was like listening and i was like this sounds a lot like the guy that was in the dragon ball movie who was charles right. <laughs> like it was more of that voice than it wasn't the wahoo because voice. you made a good point where it's like at the end he's well he's in the beginning of the movie he's very much like mario fuck you, you you're go fucking be, things up you're yeah stop having dreams and shit mm -mm. and mario was mad but then at the end of the movie, when they save the day, mm -hmm. he's just like, "Oh, my sons." He's like, "Those are my boys." I'm, I'm and proud I'm like, of my boys. Oh, they're, they're your boys. You're Mario. You're, your voice them. you're Mario. Also, did you notice that Mario's dad looked an awful lot like that character from Zelda that looks like Mario? Did he? Oh yeah, yeah I guess uh, the, that's Talon. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh wait, is he called Talon? Look up in... his look. Look him up. He looks like exactly like him. Okay. <laughs> oh, I can't. Why? Because <laughs> it's my turn to play. Yeah, there's that guy. Yeah. And there's that guy. 
Oh nice. wow, he actually looks a lot like yeah. him. Yeah. Because I think I saw something that said that when they put Mario's family into the movie, they actually got like unused sketches from Nintendo of like what their family would have looked like or something. Oh, that's cute if true. I don't know if that's true or not. I just saw it on if Twitter. If true, it is. Yeah. If true, cool. If not, why lie to me? You stop ah! lying to me. Why did this stupid Beatles? But yeah, that was. I think that's another reason why the movie turned out good. Is because Nintendo probably had a very close eye on I illumination mean, to make sure everything was it's true. as they want it. So everything had a nice extra coat of polish, I feel like. It had that Nintendo polish to it. Definitely protective of their IPs. So. Yeah, which is why I'm surprised they can get away more with Paper Mario can when it comes to <sighs> characters and stuff. Man, oh man. Next time they make a Paper Mario game, they just need Shigeru Miyamoto looking over their shoulder I'm constantly. So, <laughs> I'm constantly sad about Paper Mario, really. There's a lot- Not to say, Origami King was better! Hey, Origami King, they learned to be able to make a good game within the just the restrictions that just, Nintendo has cast upon them. Yeah, it's like, personally, I didn't like the way that they were like, this character is almost a character, but not quite. I'm bob Bomb. And they're like, oh, Bob. Some call He's me... like, no, 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 that's not my name. And it's yeah, like, no, oh, I'm you not want allowed a... to have a name or a hat. So you want a name, but you're not allowed to have it. <laughs> no, I'm just a bomb. Yeah. And then just the battle system, personally, I I was just like, oh, this is interesting. And then it got real old real fast. Yeah. And like, I still, as far as I remember, there's really not that much point to getting into the battles. I think they're like a slight level up thing, but not enough to bother getting into battles. Right, right. As far as I remember, I. I only got to, like, the second world, and... I got to the second world twice, and d d did not keep going. So I think that might be a sign I just don't want to continue. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes that's how it be. It is, but, I mean, the world was really pretty. And, it was. I mean, even though everyone was a fucking toad, the writing was still good. I just like it when they let characters have little bells and whistles. It's like, even... It's like, like, remember? They didn't do that much. They're like, I don't know. When the old ones were still had a lot of toads, but the toads were interesting. I think it's just, it's a perfect, like, example of it is, pew, um, pew, 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 pew. not even Paper Mario, but looking ah. back at Superstar Sega and the weird fucking characters they were allowed to create. Oh, and those then are they, really weird. And then they remade Superstar ah, Sega and they Mario generic it all up. It's like, no, that's, yeah. that's a, that's a regular Koopa. That's a regular Goomba. And it's just like, they, they took all the, Fuck this guy. they took all the personality out of it. They just spit on my microphone. You wanna fucking anyway, go, buddy? Wow. We're, we're talking about the Mario movie here, I'm not so about why we miss. Hey, Paper you know what? Mario I'm games. having fun, so I'm gonna keep playing. That's great. I love fun. Love fun things? Uh, the Bowser <laughs> song was fun. Peaches! <laughs> it was very peaches, good. Peaches, peaches. Jack Black killed And then he it did as... like a music video for it. He sure <laughs> did. <laughs> uh, more uh, of that. I was like, man, Jack Black. Yeah, I hope if they do continue, the Bowser gets more songs. It's funny, like, Charles Martinet and Jack Black and Keanu Reeves are car are people that I'm like, if I learned that they were complete assholes, I would be pretty sad about it. Oh, definitely. Because they seem like good... I watched John Wick 1 last night for we're the first time. We're not talking about John Wick! But you said Keanu Reeves, though, I just had to mention that I, I watched know, John Wick. I he was just Wick. one of those people that I'm like, man, he seems like a good person, I hope he is. Oh yeah, if I found out, like, Charles Martinet was racist, I'd be, like, really sad. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, why? Uh, what do you mean? No! Just oh, I have a Mario movie question for you. We can talk about John Wick in another episode. Okay, well, the John Wick episode later. Where it was we, a good movie. Where we play cyberpunk and talk Big about... Big surprise. <laughs> it was a good movie. Yeah, it, yeah. it was good. But, um, Mario movie. Do you think it was better than the Sonic movies? Yes. Me too. Although, I will say... Because Sonic movie have too many humans in... Definitely. And fart jokes and flossing. Yes. <laughs> very true. Uh... I definitely liked that Mario was pure animation and yes, was that all also Mario. <laughs> not no no side things where a guy gets married to a girl that has nothing to do with Sonic. Um, but Sonic was a better constructed movie from like a critical point of view, probably. I mean, critics probably gave it better reviews than they did the. I yeah, assume because I know why critics Mario got not, better like... reviews because it was kind of shallow. <laughs> Writing wise, everything was just happening. I mean, that's Mario games. They're, yeah, but they're pretty shallow when you. <laughs> yeah, but if you like look at something like the story of Super Paper Mario or even just other Mario We're talking RPGs, about mainline. Of course, but like that's a bad excuse, I think. Mario's Your story was shallow because Mario was shallow is a bad excuse to make a shallow story. Uh, the Sonic story, I think, was more interesting. Um, I mean, it just it, it flowed better, it had better pacing. 
it's just than kinda, the Mario movie did. The fact that uh, just, That's my I big wish it problem. wasn't live action. Yes, agreed. But like the second Sonic movie was better. It, it had more Sonic in it. But like, I feel like minus all the human characters except for like maybe Robotnik, like the characters fit and everything. Yeah. So like, I wouldn't change. I wouldn't change any of the like main Sonic people actors. Yeah. Although, I mean, the, the, the Eggman was a little bit, like... I liked Eggman. A little, uh, the second movie, I was just like, that's a little bit I liked much. it. But that's just, a, again, a personal thing. I was just like, man, this is a little, like, very... What, what would you say? Saturday very morning cartoon? Oh, well, I guess so. Just some of his, like, the things he said, I was just like... Oh, yeah, whatever. But Eggman's the... weird. That's the way they made him. Yeah, I don't know. But I Eggman's it. not that weird. Yeah, he is. He's a little weird. He's Dr. Robotnik, man. He's weird. He's a weird guy. I like Knuckles, though. I, uh, yeah, Knuckles. Oh, is no! Good. I'm gonna die! Yep. <laughs> man, that fish. She ain't me. That fish is worse than the sun. I'm just gonna say it. It's scarier. <laughs> this fish is worse than the sun. Yeah. But <laughs> the sun gives us light, Max. Yeah, the sun gives us a lot of things, doesn't it? Um, well, yeah, the pacing was bad in the movie. That was my biggest complaint about it. The thing that took me out the most There's was... There's a lot of, like, it just accepting. It's just like, yeah, okay, we're gonna do that. Things are happening and the characters are okay with it because is pretty much what it boils down Because I'm like, if you to. went up to a fucking princess, it's like, you just, I don't think she accepted that quickly. Yeah, she, like, fucking threw Mario down and then she was like, we're friends now because you're a human, I guess. <laughs> that was pretty much the excuse the, ga the mm -hmm. movie gave it was... Peach is okay with Mario intruding the castle and coming up to her because I found a human. I mean, that's pretty exciting. For also, her. I feel like they set some up. No, oh, no, no. Come on, baby. Oh, you... no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I, no. I feel like Get they. Get back up. I, you, on the left. The no, left. We're going up here. We don't worry about it. She's going to come back. She ain't nothing but a hound dog. I knew it. I feel like they set some of stuff up for Peach to have an interesting past, maybe? Yeah, because he's like, oh, maybe you're from my world. And she's like, I don't know. It's a pretty big universe. Yeah, so. and she looks up to space where Rosalina lives. Like, no. And she goes, hello. And then hello. Rosalina looks down and goes, hello. Hello. Because <laughs> <laughs> they played it off like, yeah, she could be from Mario's world. Because, I mean, Brooklyn, they put a Luma in there. So I'm like, I can true, see them going. True. Maybe not. I don't know if it'll be the next setting, one or not. They're setting stuff up, which I find. that That's yeah. what I. I think that's what gets me most excited about the Mario movie is the idea of more Mario movies. Because I assume. I wonder if they. If it did, like, more poorly, if they. Fuck. <laughs> if they would, um. They would have made a second one because I th isn't a second one in development already. I believe I've heard that. Yeah, I've heard that. Yes, and, and like I'm the, like, the I wonder Charlie if they... Day Man was like a Luigi's Mansion movie would be cool. And I'm huh? like, of course you get paid for it, but also yeah, but he I might like to hope he might be generally people... interested, right? I, like... I think Jack Black is definitely into it, but because yeah. he definitely seems it. The rest of them, I'm just like, yeah, maybe maybe the Charlie Day guy because he said so. I don't know. People say that Chris Pratt is like playing it up, but I think he does enjoy Mario. Yeah. He's just. He's more of a casual, if you know what I mean. I mean, that's fine. Yeah, you can casually like that's Mario. A that's a good thing about Mario. Don't it's like, Mario. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Jesus. Like, Mario is, like, a very, like, it's the epitome of, like, you can be a hardcore gamer and like Mario, but you can also be very casual about it. I, I did see something from Chris Pat. It's God, not that one. Cockin I don't know if this is true or not, but if it is, it's, like, it is a bit of, like, kind of plays into that, like, ugh. Are you really a Mario fan kind of thing that I just said is stupid? Yes, that is stupid. But, but yes. I heard that he was he said something where he was just like, oh, just for the movie, I decided to play some more newer Mario games. And Sticker Star was one of the best games I ever played. No! <laughs> he's, like, now he's fucking around. Uh, he's doing that on purpose. Exactly. Uh, which one? Next one, maybe? This one? I think it was in between two pillars. Uh, yeah, maybe the next, next one. But yeah, if that's true, it's... I mean, I never played Sticker Star, to be fair. It's, it might be that one. Uh, it's not... It's Nope. But I think it sucks, even I, though I never played again, it. Again, I tried to play it twice. Actually, did I try to play it twice? Or three times? It's the epitome of let's change Paper Mario's formula because let's change pa Paper Mario's formula and doing a bad job of it. Just taking away everything that makes it special in the way of like... And then I think Color Splash was... up and wanting to battle and stuff. Color Splash was better, but not by a shit ton. It was like, Paper Mario 1, good. Paper Mario 2, better. Paper Mario 3, a different Where are you going? perspective. <laughs> I guess that's fine, but maybe don't go in this direction. The story was interesting. Mm. Uh, Paper Mario 4, which is... Sticker Star. Sticker Star, bad. Bad, that's... Uh, Paper Mario Color Splash, a little better. Mm -hmm. Paper Mario Origami King, a little better. It's like they're coming back around, mm. but... But I'm like... Can we just like get rid of the turn-based battle stuff if you're not gonna uh. like have any purpose Do of doing it? It's just a just... waste of time. I don't go full. Yeah. Like 
give me the parts where you fight the big origami people and hit them in the bum bum. Yes. Just I give me like actually real want, battles. I want Paper Mario to just completely say, okay, we don't want turn-based, so let's just completely axe turn-based combat yeah. and make it an action RPG. I think that's the direction yeah. it needs to go in because they, they keep making RPGs that don't incentivize fighting. Like, it incentivizes I mean, not fighting. Except for the... the we uh, keep talking about Paper Mario in this Mario movie. So I just... <laughs> thing. Just make Paper Mario makes me sad. Circle him back But happy Paper at the Mario. same time. But... And then... Well, they did turn-based, but then they got rid of the company that did the turn-based ones. Yeah, that's sad. I really... I want to actually go through and play more of Mario Luigi, because I played the full entirety of oh, Superstar I Sega, and I loved it. I mostly played all the partners in time, and it was also good, not as good as Superstar. And I didn't really play a lot of Bowser's Inside Story, but it's supposed to be great, so I should play more of it. Yeah. You've got Paper Jam. Paper Jam's kind of meh. Has oh yeah, I got Paper Jam. Paper Jam... I got to the second world, and I was like, I'm kind of bored. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that was about all, uh, all she wrote. It was, uh, it was a lot of toads. It was that kind of thing. Because I think I got to a point where it's like, you have to search for toads. And I got to a second part where I had to search for toads. And I was like, I've had enough toads for Too one day. Too many toads. And like, and where are the, all the worlds that you went to is like desert world. I've only got to the second world. one, but first one was grass. Second was desert. And I was like, this isn't fun enough to keep playing. It was too generic Mario. <laughs> it was just like, I wasn't doing anything unique. You died, my friend. I touched the little man. You sure did. Anyway, Mario movie. What else do we want to say about the Mario movie? Um, a lot of nice little Easter eggs. If you like know Nintendo and stuff, like the bar or the 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 not bar. Oh, the the, the punch diner? out pizza. Yeah. Punch out pizza was cool. I was like that. I was like, oh, look, like, there's like Glass Joe and stuff on the wall. Yeah. It's great. Yeah, like. And, like, Mario was, like, one of the first scenes he was, like, playing Kid Icarus and he had, like, a, a little air wing in the background and stuff. It was, mm -hmm. like, that was fun. Like that. Nice little nods. Not, like, like, shoved <laughs> in your face and, like, look, haha, -ha, it's in reference. It's just like, oh, nice. I also forgot to talk about the other thing about Charles Martinet and just, like, the way that the movie opened I thought was perfect. Just the, oh, it was very the good. Mario Brothers Super Show going and, and they're, like, actually talking and they're like, woohoo, everybody come get yeah. the plumbers. We'll come drain your pipes. Or yeah, they're doing the actual, like, yeah. Mario voice. And then they're like, oh, really? We went with those voices and Charles Martinet comes out. He's like, that's playing, great. <laughs> playing against, I like it, woohoo. <laughs> it's like, ah, like, yeah, ah. yeah. I get what you're doing. Good opening. But I am glad that he got more, more than that. More yeah. than that, which the was Mario's nice. Dad thing I was like, oh, is that gonna be all? on the cake for sure. Yeah, it was nice. It was. I wonder if they'll do a Zelda movie someday. I don't know. I think I'd rather have a Metroid movie myself. <sighs> they'd have to be careful with it. They would. They can't. But like, they'd have to be careful with Metroid Zelda too. Other M it. <laughs> Zelda, I think, is more dangerous. Probably because it's more. Because you'd have to give Link a voice, and that's like such a taboo thing. <laughs> you can't have fine, him silent. I'd be fine having Link have a voice because I'm like, fine with it. But it's just dangerous. in Breath of the Wild, I was just like, you're just staring at people, dude. You're not saying anything. It just you just you don't want to fuck it up. He just doesn't seem. It's just you don't like, want an makes, excuse me, Link, princess scenario. <laughs> no, 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 no. But yeah, I think I, I don't know if 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 there was any. I'm not movie that I'm I think not really would work big well. on the silent protagonists. I get it. Because it, it, it makes work. them seem like they just don't give a shit that much, because most of the time they don't... don't you can know. admit it can work, though. It can work! I think Chrono Trigger is like a prime example of Silent Pro Tag done right. I mean, I feel like it works more so for the older games than it does for the newer ones. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, something about, Personally. like, something about, like, Dragon Quest Silent Pro Tag and, like, Seven was a little more, yeah, like, Yeah, I'm just like, Jesus, you should be more... And, like, he doesn't express that much. Yeah. So I'm like, do you care? I don't, I don't know if you care. <laughs> but like, beep, 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 Persona, beep, beep, beep. at least with the newer Persona, like they he does have a bit of a voice. They kind of go half and half. And you can respond to people with certain like yeah. stuff. They so. have like minimal lines, yeah. but they have them when they need them. Yeah. Which I think works. I think that's a good way to yeah, it's like it's a, compromise. It's a bit better for me. You're gonna die. Ooh, oh, he, he fell he down. Just, he was just like, no, I don't want to touch it. I knew that was a dangerous jump, and I didn't. <laughs> you almost had it. it. Do you want to swerve? I so couldn't much? tell where I was in the, in, the, in the up and up area. Did we get a hammer? I don't think we did. I don't know. Do 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 do. Mari, 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 yo, I like Come the to me. movie. <laughs> That's the end of the video. No, it isn't. I don't know. Is it? Do, do. Could be, but do we have more to talk about? 
I just Anything like playing else? this game. I mean, Mario 3 is fun. Mario, th except I don't really like the side-scrolling levels. Or the auto-scrolling levels. Look! I'm looking. What the fuck? What? What's wrong? See that block down there? It changed to green. Oh, it's green! It like took on the palette of the Look bush for that. some reason. How fun. Wow. How fun, a green block. Oh, great. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Jesus <Whoa>! Christ, <laughs> You okay? I got scared. Uh, let me think about the Mario movie some more. Hmm. Did you like the climatic ending where they go to Brooklyn and, and they get the superstar and they beat up Bowser? And yeah, they beat up Bowser like some Mario more. got the shit beat out of him. <laughs> oh, you know what I did like about Bowser again? Bowser coming back to Bowser? Yeah. Oh, oh, we died again at the same spot. I jumped too early. We said he was a big goofball, which is true. He mm. was a big goofball. But pissed off Bowser was scary. He's scary, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's like, you don't want to. Like, he's mad. He's like, oh god. He like beat the shit out of Mario near the end. He sure did. Like, really gave him a beating. I also just like the stuff where like his little minions were reporting to him. It's like Mario's around. He has a mustache. He met the princess, and he's just like, was she impressed? <laughs> <laughs> Does she like him? Do you think? Do you think the baby she likes him? And then like. <laughs> Is it Kamek? Is that, is Kamek, that, the, na yeah, that, is that the name of him? Yeah, Kamek was yeah, cool. He like dressed up as Peach and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. I was like, this is very like reminiscent of Paper Mario Bowser. And also just like Kamek was a good little thing because like he did like the little Kamek like Mario World. Yeah, sound when he when teleported he, when and he stuff. Moved around. I, oh, I thought it was dead there. Mm -hmm. It was, you know, just little things like that. More, more, more of that. Yeah. More of silly little visual things to make the little gamer in me clap my hands and... I'll have to show you that song, the the, the one that they yeah, did. Yeah, you gotta show me that. I didn't I didn't know about that. Yeah, it's pretty it's pretty good. I could show you right now. I could. Okay, let's try this you again. You can show me later. Fuck! Ah! We gotta keep dying here. And we're idiots. <laughs> Bottom. 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 All right, we'll beat the stage, and that'll be the end of the video. <laughs> That's we gotta. Or maybe we should just finish this world off. What do you think? Finish finish off this world. Either way. Let's finish this world off. We can talk about Mario for hours. Super Fuck Mario! Me. I like how he wears a hat. And he goes, wahoo! He had some different transformations. That was fun. That was fun. They like cat suit. Like, that was fun. Tanuki I love suit. cat suit. I was hoping frog suit would get, get in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just Maybe like next make time. a joke about frog suit on land or something. When he was like fighting uh, Donkey Kong. It the block been is gone now. The I green block. I don't know what to tell you about that block, buddy. A lot's happening today. You know what I'm surprised they didn't do in the movie? What? Um, they had like this big thing about like Mario's uh, biggest oh. strength is like his persistence, right? Yeah. He, also, he was like naturally good at platforming. He just gets up every time he gets knocked down. I'm surprised he never did the one up. Just I in guess, general. Maybe they just didn't want to deal with one ups. I guess, like, but like Donkey you have Kong to was kill them. Donkey Kong was killing him. <laughs> I mean, Bowser practically killed him. Like, I'm surprised they never pulled out the. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm okay now. Oh. I got a one up. It's like when I had another beat, extra man. He like Bowser beat him up. He was like hiding in the, in the um, in the in the diner pizza mm -hmm. place, and he's just like, just like, <laughs> he just pretty much looked like he was contemplating. He's like, oh god, I'm fucked. Oh yeah, he like didn't want to go out there. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I don't want to go back out there. But then he did. But then he did. Because he saw was his commercial. Was that Mario or Luigi? No, that was Mario. Because Luigi's the cowardly one. But he didn't he have like a moment to not be the cowardly one? We beat the, we beat the Luigi lion. did have a, a moment to not be cowardly. Yeah, he was encouraged the cowardly lion Because he like blocked... Ah! He, remember he blocked the fire blast with the... Oh yeah, that was a cool. Yeah. That was a cool. And he was like, ah, I'm gonna help <laughs> you. We're brothers and shit. And he's like, yeah, we are. Yeah, and hooked on the brothers. Their dynamic was really good, Mario and Luigi. It was very nice. Definitely one of the highlights for very me. Very nice. Super cute. Like, no, really no romance in the movie other than Bowser. <laughs> Bowser's <laughs> one-sided romance. I would say Mario and Luigi I were... I mean, Mario and Luigi. <laughs> Mario, <laughs> the Mario and Peach dynamic was flirtatious. But not like, Barely. I'm in love with you. It was just like, they're just kind of like getting along and... And there's like a little bit of flirtiness there, and Donkey Kong said, "Are you guys flirting?" That's I think gross. Donkey Kong's just looking too much into things. Maybe. Is that what you think? I don't know if if uh, Nintendo would be like, "Yeah, do do a romance between the two. because it's like it never comes to that. <laughs> Sometimes Mario gets, he a, gets kiss a kiss. He gets on a, the nose. He gets a little kiss and a cake. I'd rather have the cake, please. Yeah, I guess they don't really play up the fact that they're like lovers. No. 
It's just like back in the day, a kiss from a princess is a reward. Yeah. <laughs> now it's just like, eh. There you go, you got a kiss from the princess. Good for you. Good I want to talk about you. Odyssey, but you haven't finished it yet, so I can't. I haven't beaten it. I'm an idiot. I should really beat Mario Odyssey. It's a fun ending, Max. Is it? Oh yes. My God, look what you I should did. finish it. Oh my! I've been wanting to play it. Maybe I should play it on stream and make do you it. watch me. That sounds like fun. Let's do that. I keep because I've I've reset that game a couple times. So we talked about it before, but the reason I didn't beat Odyssey is because we were trying to record it for the show, and I lost several sessions of it to not re hitting the record button, and it just soured me. Which is game. a shame because it was a great game. Lost my first impressions of that big dragon and the moon and stuff, and it was like, damn it. Yeah, because I've, I've beaten the game, and I've got... Last time I checked, oh. it was like 700 and some odd moons. The moon. And then I made another file just for funsies. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Scary. Look at what these guys are called. They're called... The stick boys. Little Boo Corner. Little Boo on the prairie. Wow. He didn't like the name I gave him. He killed you because They're of called Lumpy Bumpies. Why are you even doing that level? It's like unnecessary. Is it? Oh, yeah. I guess it is, huh? Like, except that you have to go over this bridge sometimes, I think, but... Oh, I guess it depends on if it's I open or I should just use a power-up. Oh yeah, you did this one, didn't you? Yeah. I need to get this mushroom. I keep goofing on the mushroom get. <laughs> oh, you little cock! You little... So and so, there. I liked that go. the Kongs were the, some of the Kongs I recognized were there. Yes, Diddy and Dixie D and Chunky and Chunky and I think Kitty Kong. I thought people said that Kitty Kong was in there. I think Kitty like, Kong in the was back. there. Yeah, I, I was looking for him. I was looking for a Kitty little baby. Kitty Cat Kong. Kitty. Kitty. You got Tanuki did you Mario. know that in in Japan he was called Dinky Kong? I did because you told me, and I think that makes his character a million times more endearing. <laughs> I wonder why they didn't call him Dinky Kong. I don't know, but Dinky Kong is way better. I mean, I guess I kind of know why, but it's not even that bad. I'm gonna die here. Wow, you're really, like, going with- Threading So his, his hitbox, or her hitbox must be, like, just right the mouth. How did I do that, you know? How did you even- How did I even- How do you even get off? Lynn, look, look, he's a little puppy dog. We're not doing this again. <laughs> he's a little puppy dog. Wait, we played this twice on the channel? Uh, we did a race with- Graham way back when, like way probably back nine years ago or something. Uh -huh. And then we played a race with Ian. Yeah. So we're always racing. We're never just playing it casually. This is the first time we played Mario 3 casually oh, on need, the channel. I guess I have to go this way. We're being filthy casuals right now. Hello. I thought it worked really well for the Mario movie talk because this is a game that I can just kind of play without thinking. I can for like the first world and then <laughs> I have to really put my brain banana to the test. Yeah, banana brain. Brain your banana. Give it. Give it. Give I it. I like the little penguins. The little penguin penguins kingdom are cute. was cute. Again, I like the Luma. It was very, like, depressing. <laughs> it was great. Just the fact that there was, like, there was the Mushroom Kingdom world, and there was, like, Penguin Kingdom, and there was the Kongs that were over there. And I like that the, the Luma was, like, an actual kid's voice. Yeah. <laughs> <It was laughs> Talking like, about death and stuff. Yeah, it was like, oh, like, the sweet release kind of, of death. <laughs> I'm like, I'm surprised oh, they went that fun. dark for Luma. I liked it. It worked. And everyone was just like, little buzzkill, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Please shut hey, up, you it's beated, depressing enough. you beated the thingy. I did. I guess you really wanted to do this, huh? I had to, I don't think I had another option because uh, the bridge was closed. the bridge was closed. But look, I did it, the I'm great. The bridge I'm the closed. red one. La, 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 la. Wahoo! Yippee. And yeah, Mario, man, Mario's been part of my life for a long time. Pretty much. I think I asked my parents, I was like, when did I start playing video games? They were like, maybe when you were like three? I was gonna say three for me too, It's it's gotta be about that. Cause, it was, cause, I'm oh, pretty sure oh. the NES was, I guess it was the family thing, but I think it was in my sister's room, and then oh. it just eventually became <laughs> more so my thing than hers. Yes. Although she did play. I eventually got my own because I was hogging up my brother so much. Why? Can you share? I guess not. Sharing's not allowed. Yeah. And then we got, I think after that we, not yeah. Not the amount we, I played. <laughs> we, we never had the SNES, but friends and family friends and stuff had them, so I played a, quite a bit of SNES. Mm -hmm. And then we had the Sega, but I always Sega. called it the Nintendo. It's, that's false. It's like any system we had, I was like, I'm gonna go play Nintendo. And I was like, that's not and if true. And if it's a handheld, it's a Game Boy. I don't know what I called my hand, because I, the only, I had a Nomad. 
What the fuck is it? No, man. Oh, it's that Sega brick, isn't it? Yeah, it's a big Sega brick. Yeah, I, I wish I would have kept ones. that. Why didn't you, buddy? Uh, because I was too young to say I wanted to keep it. I had a virtual Same boy. Same with the Sega. I sold my virtual boy. Am I sad about it? Only a little. Yeah, it was like busting anyway. Yeah, I mean, it worked. It's just why busting one of the Why would you want to play it, it though? Make it burn. Nostalgia. No, it's gaming history, what Lindsay. What hole do I go in? But also, I got money Wait, for this it, go? and I like money. That's, I mean, that's kind of... Like, I sold some figurines recently, and I'm like, kind of... Part of me wanted to keep them, but also money, and also they were sitting in the closet doing nothing. Yeah. And I sold them to a friend, so I know that they'll be appreciated. That's true, I like that. I was like, they're in the family, I can go visit them. So I sold a couple of my rarer games, and they're not to the family, so they're just gone. And I sold that Donkey Kong 64 controller, which was kind of cool, the banana controller. Yeah, it was cool. And Gotcha Force, and Worms Armageddon 64 inbox, and Super well, we Nintendo gotta... Harvest Moon inbox. Well, I missed them. You got a, like a repo cart, at least, of, of, of Worms. Of that, yeah, of Worms. And like Worms! But I had the box! Worms also- Did you have the box? Yeah, I had the box. Oh, that's pretty cool. It was pretty cool. And now cool. it's worth more. <laughs> yeah, it's probably worth like a fucking grand now. Yeah. But I sold it for like 700 I mean, so. that's just- the nature of selling things. Yeah. It's like, I've got... I remember when I picked up that Harvest Moon inbox for the Get Super Nintendo here. in the gaming shop. Probably like... 60 bucks. How many years ago would that have been? Like That was back in college, so like so at like least 10, 12, 12 years. years. But it was like $60. And now it's worth like years. probably $800 or something ridiculous. We're Canadian, by the way. We're talking uh, Canadian, Canadian prices. Canadian dollars! Canadian dollars. <laughs> So I think we said everything we want to say about the Mario movie, so we'll probably end after I'm we beat fun. this guy. That's great! This is prime streaming material. You're the, prime streaming people material. People don't watch Mario 3 Let's Plays, and if you'd like to you see watch, a Mario watching, 3 Let's Play... If you're watching and you're enjoying know. this, you're pretty cool. If you're watching and enjoying this, please let us know because... Liking, commenting, and subscribing helps with the algorithm and makes it so the video actually might not get 50 viewers instead of the usual several hundred. Uh, I think you're pretty neat. If a video doesn't break a hundred views, then it means people didn't want to watch it very no! much. No! No! Well, Lynn, you just extended the episode, so that's great. Hello. And look, we get to see the thing where the airship goes away and you have to follow it. You don't have to follow, you can still go to the castle, right? Go for it. See what happens. I dare you. Last episode. You pee -pee? I'm using the pee wing. That's stupid. <laughs> no, it ain't. No, it ain't. The Mario Kart section was really good. It was fun. Yeah. I was like Rainbow Road. That was like my favorite in N64, even though people don't. I don't feel like people like that Rainbow Road, do they? 64 Rainbow Road. It's kind of boring, but really pretty. I always really wanted to. I always wanted to play on Rainbow Road. I just thought it was really pretty and really neat. I always like to try to do the little the little cheat where you go off the side and, and skip a bunch of the level. And like look at the constellations, and I'm like, oh, there's the there's the Bowser one. It means I'm near the end. I think. Probably, maybe. I don't know. It's just a fun level to dink around on for me, as opposed to actually race on. Mm -hmm. Although the um, I like dink around the, the newer version of it was really pretty, if not too short. I think they should have done at least two laps on it. Yeah, we still need to play the new Mario Kart action. I know. I was oh oh <sighs> okay. Oh. So they had like two. They have two sets of courses that they yep. brought out, and I was like, okay, that's cool. And then my friend sent me a picture of Poochie as a playable character. Well, first you gotta establish that they're making the first level that they've made that is just like specifically for this, as opposed to just old courses. Are or... you sure it's not from Tor? No, it's added to Tor, but it's brand new. Oh, okay, so it's brand, so it's new, brand new, and it was both. Yoshi's Island. And it was Yoshi's Island. It's really cool. And so, then they, and my friend sent me a picture. It's like, oh, they're adding Poochie as a like a raceable character. And, and I was you like, love Poochie. I was like, Max, we got to get back into Mario Kart because I love Poochie. Yeah, you sent me a picture of it. I, I was at work and I just got a message. And, and you're I like, is this real? Like, yeah. I was like, is this really real? And you're like, yeah, it's really real. <laughs> and I was like, oh, we got to play this. And then I looked harder and I realized it was only, only in, in tour. tour. And I was like, I never want to play Mario <laughs> Kart again. Womp womp. Because I'm not playing tour. Alright, I think this is the end of the video now. Hopefully they add Poochie later. Because they added Birdo, so they're gonna add... Oh, big Although small they have a world. Lot of, they want to keep playing. Didn't they add, like, all the, a lot of Kongs and stuff, so... Okay. What? Big small world, this is the end. Uh -huh. But we gotta ask the people. Should we keep going? <laughs> Do you want to see more Mario World? If the video gets this more than... This is Mario World. I mean, Mario 
beat him for oh, free. Oh, that's a thing too. I wanted to say. I mean, okay. it doesn't matter that you much. Can say it real I've never quick. beaten Mario World, and I want to beat it someday. Well, that's great. I've never beaten it. My, I've seen people beat it, but I've never beaten it. So I should beat it someday. Maybe on stream or something. Well, I'm gonna ask the people because I would keep playing Mario Three if you're into it. Or we could stream it too. Also true. But let us know. Leave a comment. We like the video. More. Subscribe to the Dibble D. If the video gets like more than a hundred views and maybe like. I don't know, 15 likes. I'll, maybe we'll do another episode. You're just picking numbers out of your butthole? Yeah, I am. I just, I don't feel like this is going to get a lot of oh, views. Oh, it will not. It will not. But if it does, well, I'll play more because, yeah, I'm having a blast. That people, 55 minutes rolled by. People want to see Pizza Tower and that's all. <laughs> algorithms want you to watch Pizza Tower and they don't want you to play Mario 3. YouTube algorithm hates Mario 3. I like it hates Mario old 3. games, it likes new. It's slower, I can understand it. Pizza Tower scares me. <laughs> I like Pizza Tower. Oh, I like it, it's but I'm just like, fun. man, oh man. I should try playing it someday, though. You should. It's a great game. This is a great game. I love games. I like the Mario movie. This is the end of the video. What did you think of the Mario movie if you saw it? If you didn't and you like Mario. See it. Great. <laughs> it's awesome. I didn't get the popcorn question mark yeah, block I, really I wanted. I wanted that. I will just say before we end, mm -hmm. my final thoughts on the Mario movie. Mm. I think if you like Mario, you're going to enjoy it a lot. Mm -hmm. I don't think if you need to be sold on Mario that it would be the thing to sell you on it. Probably not. So like if you go into it and you're not a Mario fan, it's probably a pretty mediocre movie. Hence the bad reviews. Mm -hmm. But I think it's pretty pretty great. The Metacritic store score is hilarious because yeah. the, the critics hate it and the people that are the users love it. I think if it was a little less ADD, a little bit longer, with a little more just, like, plot cohesion, I think it would have been perfect. I was like, this is a fun movie. It's not the greatest movie in the world, but you have a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun. A little too many pop songs. Thank you for watching Game Face, everybody. Next time, pop, pop. something else. Bowser or was this. great. Bowser was great. So was Luigi. So was Luigi. I'm Everyone going. else was good. <laughs>